Hello, hello, hello. Welcome oh. to another Saturday night of Shadow Whispers in the night. We cut it by five very fine. Days. Very yeah. fine. By five very, seconds. Very fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit stressed out, but I'll, I'll calm down now in a minute. Don't be stressed out. You look good. Oh, thanks, girl. You do. Thanks, girl. You look good. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. How are you keeping? Why does my camera look like it's so freaking close off? I should be sitting back here. What are you doing to your camera that you look better on it? Who? Mine? Yeah, you look like your camera's away and I look like I'm sitting on top of my camera. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumbled it all together quick. Anyhow, um, apart from that, how was your day? Busy. Busy, busy <laughs> day. Sure, I suppose most people are the same as well today. Christmas yeah. and all that does, yeah. It's nonstop. Um, yeah, I know it's tomorrow is Christmas Eve, isn't it? Yeah. I keep forgetting it's Christmas Eve. I keep forgetting it's yeah. Christmas Eve. Just been so busy. Um, I, I was gonna say I got this from a friend of mine, and we don't know what it is, do we? <laughs> Milk. Mm-hmm. But it's lovely. It's lovely. Uh hi dots, how are you keeping? Uh happy holidays to you too. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Um, anybody who's watching, we um, like, share, comment, and post away. We have a fantastic show tonight. Uh, we have some amazing guests on with us. We have, uh, I'm actually going to bring them in and they can introduce themselves. So we're going to bring ladies in first. Oh, I guess that would be me. <laughs> you should have probably should have brought Dakota or Chris in first, actually. <laughs> Hold on, I'm socially awkward for the first 10 minutes. I know. Hold on, Michelle. I'll bring you out and I'll bring one of the other ladies in. Okay, we'll bring Dakota in. Hi. I'm not one of the ladies. <laughs> I just got in my hair. Ow, that hurt my neck. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I think Dakota would make a lovely lady. <laughs> he would, wouldn't he? He <laughs> would. Wouldn't you, Dakota? Look at that. Don't look at my only fans. Yeah, well, well, if that's what you're in your private time, you're allowed to do what you want. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I gotta so be making money somehow. Thank yeah. you for joining us tonight. Does everybody, everybody want to, like, not that people don't know you already, but introduce yourselves to the ones who, and, and many people know you, but the ones who don't know you, which is like, <gasps> but introduce yourselves. So, I'm going to go first. Oh, you're going to let the guys go first? Yeah, we're going to let the guys go first. Age before they don't beauty. Get to go first. Okay, so oh, age before beauty. Before. So Dakota. Oh well, I'm only twenty-one. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> For how many years now? Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then <laughs> you get a big red button that you can press. No. <laughs> oh, ejector uh, seat. I found a connector. Do I could right. Look. Yeah, go for Hi. it. Do you want me to go to Dakota well? You think he's something I don't, to take? I don't care. I'm called Chris. I'm from Ghost Squad Scotland, but I'm also for Balden Bonkers. He's my co host. Yes, he is the CEO. But yes, I am the handsomest one of the Balden Bonker boys. That's who I am. And probably Where's one of the maddest. But there he's up there. So, Dakota, <laughs> it's round to you. Yes, I am the bad genius behind Balden Bonkers. Chris, yeah. quit playing with your balls. God damn it. <laughs> We've had this goddamn talk. I tried for the ejector button, but I can't just get rid of it. Hey, well, Every time I try, this badass keeps breaking it. It's a big green one. It's a big I know for a wig. Sounds worse. For eighties wig. Good. I'm going to take. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put my wig on because this this is just too ridiculous to wear them. Put your wig on. Put your wig on. Oh, Hello, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and join. Didn't like it. Yes, out. There you go, Louise. Oh, Fairly certain even uh, Elton John would say you look like you belong on a no. sex offender registry. That's <laughs> something. That's something. Yeah. You look like Trump. Hey. He's not he orange can't enough. Help that hair. I'm going to make Emerald Dale's paranormal great again. Uh, <laughs> no, what do you mean great again? It's always been great. Dare you? We're going to bring. We're going to bring Greg. Greg is coming in. Right? Hi, you're Greg. Only wear that for so long. How are you, Hi, Greg? Jenny. How are you, Merry, my love? Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. This Thank is really you for nice. Really nice. Oh, 
It's lovely yeah, to have you. I know Louise. Yes. And that's about it. That's it. So the rest, no, I'm going to introduce, well, Michelle and, the, and the, the boys can introduce themselves and what they do. Oh, man. I guess it's I my turn. Oh, it already went. I'm Michelle Gray. I'm from the lovely state of Texas. And I'm a medium, along with a whole bunch of other things. And I also do uh, corporate stuff. I help people in the corporate world figure things out when people are being shady. <laughs> I've seen it. It's so a pleasure to meet you. Ask. Thank you, Greg. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, too. Then we have Chris. Chris Will. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Today. Chris Moore, introduce yourself to Greg. I did you call me Simple Jack from now on, honestly. Simple, Simple Jack sorry. is my name. Simple Jack. That's that. Don't okay. <laughs> Glad to okay. meet you. That's, That's it. Sure. I, I can only wear this for so Chris. long before my head starts to melt. <laughs> I would imagine you have like a small cat on the top of it. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Uh... I, I, it there's some air holes in it or something like that. So, there we go, simple jack. There we go. I tried oh to, to buy the fake teeth for Amazon, but they will not be here in time. Oh, no, they don't. And and Dakota, you want to introduce yourself to our Greg? What's up? Uh, I run Bald and Bonkers on pretty much... For getting freaky with aliens, so yeah, I don't know. Now he said getting freaky with aliens. If yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I thought he we does. only did that in our sleep and we didn't know it. Yes. <laughs> no, how did doesn't. how did you get to be told about it? I just mm. get dropped. Left. <laughs> it's like a bad damn date. That that that's kind and of a so long out. story. For anyway, just telling me. You so, you're, where are you from, Dakota? Are you from the States? Yeah, I'm from Idaho. Idaho. Oh, he the ho. No, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, of course. My daughter, my daughter-in-law is from up in uh, Bellevue, Washington, the other side of Seattle. Mm. So That's she's okay. she's all they're all here now. Nah. And and Michelle's from Texas, so yeah. that means that means that are you near uh, Victoria Monday? Me? Who? What? Victoria Monday. I don't you know. know who, you mm -hmm. know where Vic Vic is? Mm -mm. How about uh Anthony? Aye. Salavos. Oh, there's Rosie. Rosie, do you want to join in with no. us? Oh, yeah, Anthony Sabellos. Yeah, that's the ones I want to introduce you to as well, Michelle. Uh, they do amazing. Uh, the Wrath. Um, no. Yeah, that's the one yeah, I want I to know, I know him. I had him come on. Uh, that's Anthony. Yeah, that's Anthony. yeah, that's Anthony Sabellos. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, no, that's we're, we're a couple of hours away from each other because I'm outside of DFW, like outside of Dallas, Fort Worth area. I'm like outside in a little town. But I'm from Tyler, which is in East Texas. So. He just, he just, uh, we just, I just joined his group because oh. now, as you see underneath my name, it says the Silver Fox from Wraith Hunters. Yes, he's got a good show. He's he's a good dude. Yeah, I we like lovely. We get together every week. You know, we're we're uh, pretty solid. His boys, uh, last night we were all together on Howard's show. I, so, I missed it. I missed some of it because I was in bed, yeah. It. it got crazy. I'm sure it did. It was great that Howard was back. And I'm like, well, you know, everything is good now because Howard is back. Because it's been a while since he's been on. And and I was bloody, and I didn't know he was on last night. So I was in bed and I was sleeping and I got the... The, the replay of the live. Yeah. yeah so I, I'd love if we got all of us, like you know, myself, myself, we, Michelle, Simple, jo no, Chris, <laughs> and Dota, and and Howard, and so on, and just have one big uh, 2024 January party. I'm all having, all I, I can, I can, I can hardly make you guys it. 
Really? Look, I'm having I'm having major technical problems here. I can have I can't see any use. So I'm going to leave and come back in. And I, I'm going Hi. to leave and come back in on my iPad. Connect That's to okay. the phone. Yeah. That's okay. Right, give That's me five okay. minutes. Go for it, Chris. Go for it. Yep. Do it. That, that <laughs> is really, really something. But it's great to see Louise too. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It's great to see everyone on YouTube. I, I didn't say anything, you know. I it's it's wonderful, and I I really I really loved it when you guys were on the show. That you was guys, great. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a good good show. Do you know what we're going to bring for you now, Greg? In in the early 2024, say January, mostly like hopefully Louise January, we're going to do take you on a tour of. Uh, Louise know, knows one of the locations. I know another one. We're going to take on a leprechaun on a ferry tour. <gasps> the, 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 the myths and legends of Ireland. Oh, yeah. So, yes, because we were, my seven minutes were talking about it today, the locations that we want to go to or, or locations that we know that we're going to go to. Uh, yeah, and it's awesome. not too far. It's not too far. So we're going to do either a live now or we're going to do a video of it and, and give it to you. Or we can do a private live with you if you want, you know. It's actually near, remember that video, Dakota, the, where we saw, I saw the light. It's uh, over, yeah. that's over that direction, actually, mm -hmm. over those mountains. Mm, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do, uh, Dakota, do you work with them too? With, with Jenny and with Louise? Uh, no. We've crossed paths a few times. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, we've done shows together, and um, we did that in Ireland. Now, is saying the mainly in the north of Ireland or in the west of Ireland, there's a lot of UFO sightings. So we would we would collaborate with that. Here's, here's Chris now. We would collaborate it's, with that. Great. Gr yeah, you're good. Now, can you hear us okay? I can hear you better, but my internet's dropped. I've got no internet. I've had to sign in to my iPad for the, what do you call it? Okay, there's a storm. All right. There's a big storm, mm. so that's what's happened. Oh, yeah. That's okay, that's okay. There's Dots. Dots, how are you even Dots? Are you well? Listen, Dots, we're going away. We're going out on the 30th and 31st of November if you want to join us. We're going to Redwood Castle and Left Castle. If you want to join us, you're more than welcome to join us. We have a fantastic guest joining us from Washington State. Coming over with us to do an investigation. So what we were going to do tonight would be like the Estes method, and we love the Estes method. Of of uh, I know I know we were saying it to Greg and Louise. Did you find the lead? No. Yes. You did. Yes. Good woman. So we're interested in doing. We're going to do the Estes method at one point of of the show. I want to talk about locations that we've been to, what locations we what were our favorites and what locations were not our favorites and why. So we'll start with Miss Louise. We'll start, Louise, we're going to start with you. Locations that you've been, because I know that, obviously I know the locations, but this year, so what locations have you been to and what was your favorite and what was your worst? I put Louise in the spot and she probably text me. Yeah, it's just like school. And it's like, who's going to go first? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, sure. Look, I suppose I could go with Lep Castle because in fairness, that did provide us with a good bit of stuff. And I was pretty happy with there. Like that with the doors. We're hearing the, net, the sound of my ears and the turn around and seeing the doors shut. That was like. Yes. That was pretty. Yeah. I like that. Oh. Um, Oh, there was actually a good few places this year that really did shine that I was kind of pleasantly surprised with. Sorry, which one? I'm probably not answering this very well, but yeah. No, which one to you? So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, which, yeah, probably yeah. Castle. Yeah. Well, which one surprised you oh. that was like good? Left Castle, because I think they had so much going for it. Yeah, um, that I nearly think then, oh, it's not going to be good because everyone's saying, oh, it's this, it's that. I think it's a bit hypened up. So I'm kind of nervous actually going to places that are a bit hypened up because I find they can be a bit of a letdown. Yeah. But surprisingly enough, it was good. But which was your least? Can you say it on a live? No, I don't think we should say the least on a live, actually. <laughs> yeah, maybe not, actually. No, 
I don't think we should do the lease and the live right, because we're we'll going back to one of the places. Yeah, well, so yeah we probably still do them. We probably still do them. Dakota, what about you? Uh, it's been a very interesting year for me. Yeah. Been having to hightail it across multiple counties due to mass UFO sightings in my area. To where even the police were calling me trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Wow. Yeah. The police contact me. What do I call I'm going to have a, I'm going to nearly break this. I bought this. Right, there we go. That's that now. <laughs> Go ahead to call her. It's the aliens. No, there's been. I'm back earlier this year, October. I went to a little UFO conference just to check out a few things, and we actually had crafts surrounding our hotel. You did? Mm -hmm. Multiple eyewitness videos. You have the videos? Not it with me right now. Okay, but. but you didn't have them. Because that's what I would love to see. I'm one of these, and I do believe, but I want I want to be like, people have seen these, have seen them. And they have video footage. And I'm like, well, don't keep them to yourselves. Show us, for feck's sake. Show <laughs> us. Show us. And I, I, I kind of had to filter that out for a second. Show us what you have. I'm very people, proud of you. That was a good you, edit. That was very good. Wasn't it? It was like yeah. at the seat of my pants kind of it thing. It was almost I was like, believable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, right? I'm very proud of myself. Hold on for a second. And uh, <laughs> But um, if they have the videos and it's like, oh my God, like the hotel was surrounded by them and they have video footage. I want to see yeah. them. Don't talk about it. I want to see it. Put your money where your mouth is. Show me what you got. Yeah. If you're screaming at us and you're saying, we have this, we have them, we say, we believe, we believe. Show the us. The only thing I'd imagine, because it was a conference for aliens and stuff like that, and people who have an interest in aliens, I'd say they probably weren't, like, they'd be probably more like, oh, they're there, but, like, more so not really wanting to take much videos as well. Do you know the way? Because it's like, oh, yeah, they're just there. Yeah, no. but that's I will admit there was one particular s spot that people keep I know what you mean. absolutely obsessing over. They say, "Oh, it was the same thing that showed up last year." Here's the thing: the hotel we were at was next to one of the Universal Studios parks, and they oh. have spotlights. And it was a particularly uh, cloudy night when that one showed up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people that don't like the fact that I say I'm not sure that's not the spotlight people, but. There were things flying in the sky, and I was possibly on one of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, did you say know. possibly on one of them? Yeah. Dakota, you, you need to get, like, a GPS. What they call tiles. <laughs> yeah. I know. Someone put a ring on him. <laughs> I literally oh, have security like cameras that. pointing towards Tied my you, bed you. just to record when this shit happens. Yeah. Well, well, just put it around your neck, like a little necklace. Yeah, a few. Were you so? Are you saying, Dakota, that you were in one of the ships? Mm. So, yeah. Dakota, listen. Forget the forget worrying about the aliens probing you. We're going <laughs> worry, worry about the humans probing you because I'm about to probe you. What the bleep happened in that sheep ship? Not the sheep. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to the sheep in the ship? <laughs> No, I'm from Barber Country, but whoa. <laughs> Actually, Dots in the chats knows about the situation <laughs> because there what basically what happened with that particular instance. This is where the more exotic parts of my story came by. Mm. The oh. oh. This is when you should play that uh, type of music. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I'm expecting an, an appearance on X Files any day now, but no. <laughs> the reason why I was on that particular ship because my son came by. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you as we were. Bombs being dropped without 
filling in the blanks here. <laughs> okay, there's a reason why there, there's a novel being written to try to fill in all the details because it's still an evolving story. So you're but, just a big tease. That's what you are. Just a big idea. I, I have to compress it. <laughs> but just a tease. I'm sorry. When, while I was up there, I, the night that it was that it happened, we there was this big disco dance. So everybody was in all these glittery outfits. And mm -hmm. while from the ship, I remember <laughs> trying to pick people out, being able to spot them using the cameras that were on board the ship. And there was a couple that were pointing cam their cameras right at where I was. The next morning, there's a little chat group that we're all in to kind of share videos and all sorts of that. The same woman that had her camera pointed at me showed she caught video of a craft flying in the sky directly opposite. What did anybody just, just hear that? Sorry, that yeah. was from me. Oh, that's from Michelle. That no, was me. There's, Sorry. There's, there's, you got to be careful because every time I go to talk about these stories, there's always voices. Something mm. happened, Dakota. Yeah. Remember that night when you had the light on and something dark went over and I had slowed it down? Mm -hmm. What do you still think it was? I'm still convinced it's a fly. I don't think it was. I genuinely don't think it was. I sent it on to you, Louise. Hmm. Remember that remember that that light and then if it was a fly you would have seen it it wouldn't have literally taken over your light yeah. I don't think so I don't I, 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 I did don't. have a fly messing around earlier so I don't know mm. would have gotten pretty to close to the camera again. but nevertheless yeah it has to be looked over again but that was very interesting and when it kind of recoiled back it wasn't like a fly just got kind of like mm move around quickly and then back out it was lit uh, michelle i have to send it on to you and greg it literally came over and took over the camera and then it slowly recoiled back and it wasn't uh, to me a fly it kind of like in out and gone this was different this was different i will send it on to you greg and michelle you don't have it on the computer now no um i have i might do actually let me go have a wee look at it Oh, you talk among yourselves and let me just look for this. Mm -hmm. I will see it was a I, I, I would like I would like to ask Dakota. Uh you've really been into this for how long? At least since I was six, and I ended up 30 miles away from where I was supposed to be one night. Okay. Mm. I can believe it. To good ways. I'm picking up. I'm picking up the vibrations, and I don't know if it's just from you or it's from Chris. But it's it's really interesting in the respect that you guys, you know, I I have some of the same instances that happened to me from when I was a kid, and then when I went to school and college, I was in the UP of Michigan. And if you know anything about the way, way up at the top of the UP, they actually go ahead and, you know, they'll, they'll go ahead and scramble fighter planes back in the day to chase these things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, that was a common occurrence. And uh, when I was up there in school and there's nothing up there. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. So. And I think it was, you know, that whole end up there used to be all copper. So maybe they were somehow they were mining it. You know, who knows if they needed it or anything. But I, f I find that extremely interesting. And, you know, you're one of those people like Chris is that, you know, mm -hmm. that now that my one show is really expanding, you know, it would be great. I mean, for everybody that's in this room right now to come on my show. Mm. You know, and I'll send invites out because it's it's really neat. But but you're a are you a believer or are you a skeptic? Me? Yes. I do try to keep a skeptical mindset because I know how easy this type of stuff is to be influenced. <laughs> but I know that's just, that shit's out there. Okay. Now, are you familiar with Hellier? What's that? 
Are you familiar with Hellier, the series? Yeah, I believe I heard of it. Oh, and, you know, when I used to fish muskies, I we spring tournament was always in Kentucky. And all the boys from West Virginia would come over. And that's that triangle between Ohio. You know, there's a triangle there where it's everything happens in that triangle. Uh, hmm. And they always they always talk. Uh, I would always talk about, you know, they would say to me, you know, you got this and you got that and in Illinois and ghost wise and they would pick sort of point at me, you know, and I'd say, well, you guys got the grays. And they'd go, oh, we've got the little ones. Oh, my they God. Would go. And I'd say, really? The little ones? I always thought they would be like four or five feet tall. And they go, no, they stay in the caves. Because the all the homes in Kentucky are like shacks. Okay, with ten roofs, and they're always off the edges of the of the of the cliffs, or the, mm. the big the, the big hills, yeah. and each one had a cave to it, and that's where they got their coal to heat their houses. And at night, that's where they came out of. Mm -hmm. They'd come out okay. into the backyard and play with the toys, the kids' toys, and everything, mm -hmm. just like out of Hellier. And when I saw Hellier, I was going, you got to be kidding. Because I thought these guys were kidding me all the time. Mm. So, I mean, it's 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 really, really something out there. Wow. Do you mind me asking, do you think sometimes they've always been here? I, I was watching some interesting YouTube, kind of, um, and they're on about, like, you know, of course, aliens and things like that. And they were saying, like... You know, is there a possibility that they've always been here and part of the earth, like interdimensional as in true? Like, that there way. are certain More species that have been here for quite some time since at least the time of the dinosaurs. Yeah, just yeah. that like we've grown up and we're just accustomed to them, like they're in a different frequency. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in a manner of speaking, I had a uh call or a message the other day from uh, uh, Jennifer, I can't remember her last name, but she's a, a psychic medium. And she said she wanted to talk to me about interdimensional beings. And it was like, holy crap. You know, he, a guy like like the, the people on the panel here right now are, are people that she should really talk to. Because you guys deal with them all the time. They come in and come out for me. Yeah, they're part. They're part of our what what I hear, and sometimes it's it's really hard to decipher which ones they really are. But yeah, um, I know I know it's really really cool. That's for sure. Well, I have this video now from when Dakota was doing his live with Chris. So I have a few of them, some like normal speed, some uh, slowed down motion. So I'm going to play a few of them and they will take me a little bit to do it. But I'm going to put the first one on now if I can do that and uh, and see what you all think of it. I hope I get it right because God knows what I'll put up. But anyhow, <laughs> listen. Holy crap. I okay, I have a porn hub searches. I was like some <laughs> weird stuff going on. I was like, Jenny, what are you watching? Yeah, <laughs> I'm always fucking worried. Okay, so I'm gonna show this. I hope to God I got it right. So let me know. So this is the fast motion, right? Can you all see it? Yeah, it's up. Is it yeah. okay? Up. So this this is the fast motion, so I'm gonna play it now. Yeah. Wow. You just missed it. Okay. Oh. Late style was go. It was just amazing. Right. The story is more with the chat guys. Right? Uh, what the um, fuck? Did you see that? Yeah. I saw a shadow. Small for me. Was it the shadow? Yeah. I'm, go I'm going to go into. I'm going to go into, let me just take this out. Uh, I'll go into the slow speed one. I hope this is it. 
What's that? What's that say? Huh? The cunt list. Yeah, look at it. Cut, look at it going over his face. Was that my yeah. freaking? Did I just open my my whole Facebook shot? page? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So here's the sugar. Here's the slow spin. Here's a, the other one. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see how slowly it goes over and then goes back? Oh, the black shadow. I see. Is that oh, what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah. 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 That's not a fly. Like so cool. see, <laughs> anyway, that's not, that's not a fly. No, that's not a fly. No. <laughs> You'd you see think? some movement outside of the solid part. Yeah, and then that one, that's when Dakota movement. said, what the F? Yeah. And this went over and back, and I'm, I looked at it, and I slowed it down so much, as much as I could, and it was not, like, I keep saying, it's not a fly, it's not a fly. Yes, there was a fly in the room earlier on that night. It's not a fly. This is not a fly. I'm going to play it one more time. <sighs> What do you think, Greg? Creepy. It was pretty creepy. Oh, I isn't it? Looks, we're talking it looks, about a voodoo priest. It looks, it looks really, you know, it almost does when you, you bring up voodoo. And then it when just some of those guys were down in New Orleans. They, there was a lot of black shadows like this. That's when exactly what I was. Talking about. Are you at home? Are you at home in this? Yeah, same spot I'm in right now. What was the subject? What? What was the subject we were talking about, Dakota, that night? I was watching I know, it. But it, I was, was, it was one of um, those... I can't remember what exactly we were talking about, but it was one of the ones where we kind of veered off course and you started talking about Mike. Did I? I, I was just wondering, because I, I remember mentioning him that night. Chris, because you were saying it was Halloween time when you said it was just before uh, Mike's anniversary. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was around that time I was watching the show. Could I ask who Mike was? Oh, he was a really Mike, good friend. Mike the Naked Bigfoot, he was a Hugon, a type of voodoo priest. He, very well knowledgeable. Anytime we had the guy on, something weird happened, yep. especially when we were when he and I were focused in, because whatever is tied to me did not like what was tied to him, mm. and they would clash frequently. And wow. we actually do have reports that Mike is back from the dead. Yes. What? Uh, Mike's it's, back. It, yeah, it's, it, his back is... Uh, oh, what was, what, what was they, that? I tell you. His congregation name. calls him a... Loa. Calls him what's a, a lolab, which is... A okay. A, kind of a... I'm trying to put this in layman's search, but it's like a... It's a voodoo spirit, not necessarily good or evil, Knowing Mike, he would try to prank you, no, without a doubt. Oh yeah, but but it's one of those cases where someone who's highly into the occult and spiritual yeah. arts, yes. when they go to come back, it's a, they come back as a little something more. Okay, really? So, the situation. Think about the reports of what goes on at Crowley's. Mm. It's very similar. Wow, good to remember. Uh Oh, sorry, Jenny. Oh, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. Good to remember the thing with Mike is he did a lot of like dark stuff. I mean, really dark stuff. He did sacrifices, and I'm not mm -hmm. talking about maybe chickens. He did goats and horses. He did. He wow. would sacrifice his farm animals for the spirits. Yes. Cows, goats, horses. Mike horses. did yep. this. Yes. Yep. Okay, he also, ask you, ask his you property was also stalked by Sasquatch, who would constantly yep. attack. Yep. Okay, I want to know why and who was he sacrificing these animals to? to Whatever spirit was riding him, as he would say. It. Yeah. As they would want, was... a, according to him, his anytime a spirit would take over, they wanted the human experience. They wanted to be able to feel, mm -hmm. taste, touch, stuff like that. And apparently, some of them had cravings for horse hearts. Yes, that's oh. serious right there. When you get into sacrificing horses, that's really, really dark because they're such a spiritual animal. That's, right. that's oh, some yeah. deep shit when you start messing with horses. Mm -hmm. he, did, he did a video. He did a video <laughs> about, I would say, three weeks to quarter before he passed away. Mm -hmm. And he did, a, he did this ritual 
with a knife, but he got a candle, right? And something took out of him, and he took his hand and he held it for 25 minutes over the burning candle. You and he did a video, and you could hear his hand <laughs> bubbling. You could actually That's hear it sizzling, really right? Really and then the next day he did another live, and he says, "Oh, that was the the being that came out. It wanted to feel pain, and his hand was all swollen up and all burnt." Uh-huh. That's just crazy that you can hear his skin bubbling. These are nice things. Videos that, are still yeah, these are things that I would see or hear on on, on movies that you can actually hear someone's skin bubbling. <laughs> you can hear. I mean, it's like a bit hard, yeah. isn't it? Why, and why do you think he was doing it? Like, what what was he getting from it? He was he was so- making a deal. He was making a deal in the video. He was making a deal with a war to come and take away the bad entity that was in the woods. And the fall up to it, Mike lived in where was it? He lived again. The, quote, I put part of the Blue Ridge America, Mountains, in the Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains, and he's 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 he was getting plagued with squatch and Bigfoot or whatever you want to call them. But yeah. he was also getting played with a weird screaming entity. It was like screaming in the woods, and all the workers would hear that. Because he, 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 he was a very big landowner, Mike. I didn't realise how big a landowner he was. So he did a ritual where he got the war to come, but in, in return, the war wanted to take over him and feel pain for a trade. Mm. So that so they get rid of the, the war that came to him, get rid of the entity in the woods, right? Aye. But in return, he had to hold his hand over a candle for about 25 minutes. <sighs> Was he any bit Irish, like like the Banshee fairy? That's I don't know what the entity was. The quote I think do you know came what it was. I can't remember. What he said it was something. I can't remember the exact term he used, but you go back to historical geological records. There was at one point the Appalachian Mountains were connected it, towards Ireland and Scotland, so it could very well, be, oh. in essence, could very well be sort of a cousin to the Banshee. When yeah. you think about it, it's always always videos up there. You can go and watch them. You can actually go and what the it's actually going to his channel, Mike the Naked Bigfoot, and go to the live section because he done some lives. What's screaming in my woods? <clears throat> and then it works its way up to where he does the ritual, and then the, the show after that, his hands covered in blisters where he's been <sighs> holding it over the candle. Oh God! Yeah, uh, to cut his, his hands covered in blood too because he gets a knife. And he says to the, the war or something, he does a spell and then it cuts his hand right open and then holds it out of the, mm-hmm. the flame. Well, he sort of, sort of soldered it back together again, didn't he? Yeah. It did, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was a clean cut. What's that yeah, called a... again when they do when they uh, do a wound with, uh, with fire? Cauterize. Uh, Cauterize it. Yes. So he was actually fixing himself, Mm. and the blisters were the result on the other side of the hand, maybe, Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You you got to remember this guy's done even darker stuff than that. This guy, what's the story, Dakota? The one that we got him on Dave uh, Dave Schrader's show. We got him on his show to tell his story. I mean, he did, he did. A ritual to prolong someone's life. One of his best friends, she was an artist, and she was that was it that cancer she was dying in Dakota. I believe so. And you get the phone call and says, "Listen, she's not going to last the night." But it was like something like two thousand miles away. It was like across the other side of the country. So that night he went into his hotel room and he did a ritual, a ritual which should never be performed, where basically it keeps that person alive, but it takes something from him it takes half his life from him anyway mm. he got a phone call the next day after the ritual and stuff and <laughs> he says oh be mysterious she was about to die and then she just came back into life again oh. which was mysterious so he made it there in time but she wasn't the person that she should have been she should mm. have been dead she was on morphine she was on everything she was writhing in pain but she couldn't die until the three oh. days, until the three days that he gave her ended, and when they ended at sunset, she died. But he—he he was only in his thirties or forties at the time, and it damaged him that much. He passed away 
uh, organ failure and everything. That's mm-hmm. the the war, whatever it was, came to him, told him, he says, this is going to happen to you because you've went and traded your life for hers so you could see her. And voodoo magic, voodoo magic or whatever it was that he did. But all these videos are there that you can watch and it's it's dark stuff, very dark. The whole time y'all are talking, I can't not see running water like a stream and eggs. I keep seeing images of eggs. I don't know why. Like that is the weirdest thing to be seeing when y'all are talking about him. But I'm just seeing like three eggs with the pointy part touching each other, like one here and then one here and one here, like facing nothing. And then I keep seeing a stream of water, which sounds like it sounds mad. I don't know what it even means. I don't know what the eggs would have to do with anything. Is uh, son Pete watches this? As I sent the link to his son Pete, um, so he might be in the chat. You know, he might not be speaking, but he might. But if you're in the chat, Pete, because you're right in the chat, Hi. if that helps, what the eggs are, because because he's been experiencing a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, that's just what a people- really weird image. Like when I saw the the shadow at first, I felt very voodoo with it. I've only had two experiences around the voodoo world with it. And they had this same thing, that same kind of, kind of knock back thick gut, kind of see, heaviness in my chest. See, <laughs> something really weird, something really weird happened before he died. Okay. His it's, 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 it's son went to get him at the hospital to bring him home because he only had like a week left before he passed away. Because it took organ failure. He didn't want to die in the hospital, he wanted to die in the house. So they brought them home and his, his dad was sitting outside and he knew when he went up the stairs he would never the only time he'd be back down was in a body bag. Right? And he was sitting outside and a, a black cat appeared. Now I don't know if Dakota's still got the photo. Dakota, you still got the photo of that cat. I have it on my phone. I don't know if I could send it to Jenny to bring up or no. Uh but yeah, so sit- see if we can bring it up. Um what had happened is, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story, then I'll send it to you, because it's, oh, okay. my, my phone's holding up my, what do you call it, my iPad. <laughs> but, um, but what happened was the cat appeared, this, this weird cat appeared, and it looked like it had like a third eye. I kid you not, it was jet black, and it had like a wee weird bit in the middle, as if it had a third eye. Anybody at the farm, his son, dog, everybody tried to clap the cat, and it hissed at them when they could hear them. Mike was sitting, it jumped up onto his lap and curled up into him. Because he's a cat person, he's a lot of cats. So anyway, he went up the stairs to his bed and the cat followed. And the cat the cat lay at his bed until he passed away. Aww. The day that he passed away, it was heart failure. The day that he passed away, the cat got up went outside and went into the woods and was never seen again. Do you know what, can I, can, do you know what when I say that, Chris, what comes to my mind? And it's just, the penny's just dropped and it could be completely yeah. wrong. But when you were saying that he was, he was sacrificing animals and he was doing this and that, and the cat yeah. came to stay with him. Mm-hmm. And um, cats are protectors of evil. Wait till you see this cat. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go to Google. That he would have guided him and protected him when yeah. he was leaving. Does that make sense? Yep. I'm just trying to. I've got it somewhere amongst all my photos. I know in Irish folklore there's something about a black cat as well with the fairies as well. They say in Ireland so. like a black cat is bad luck and a white cat is good luck, but that's it's opposite ways, do you think? See, I can send it oh, to you wow. if you want. That's Mike. Bring up and a wee bit. Cat. Oh, he looks like one of my cats before. Moo moo. See what I mean by its forehead? Yeah. And that cat's never been seen again. Is that two white pa- Is that two white patches I'll on his forehead? Ah, you send it on to me. I'll send it to you because you can make it bigger and all that kind of stuff. Aye, I'll there. bring it up a wee bit, yep. Yeah. yeah, so I'll bring it up here and then I'll send you Okay, let me just take this one off here. There now. you go. You should have it now. Yes. It's, it's, okay. Um, I need to put my put my phone back so as it holds up. Just my... glad I went into my page. <laughs> it's like I'm a bomb disposal expert. I don't want to move it here. I mean... <laughs> okay, so let me. 
Do you know what? Can I tell you, Chris, what I think that is? And it's gonna sound weird. Can I tell you what can I tell you what I think yeah. that is? What do you think it is? I, I'm as an animal person who works with them. Yeah. Just gonna say just think it's just part of them. It's just like a part you, tell, of you read my bloody mind. <laughs> From drinking dirty water. Michelle said exactly what I was thinking before I even said it. That looks like ringworm. <laughs> Michelle has cats, I've got cats. And when I just heard Michelle saying, I'm like, what did you say? It did come out, it, it did come out the Not woods, mind you. It's probably a feral cat. Oh my God, Michelle, I'm so glad. I go, go sister. Okay. You got you just, you knew what I was thinking. You're welcome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring the picture up so you can all have a look at it. But it does look like. Um, it looks like the crusty. Do you want me to just say mm -hmm. it again? It's okay. I know she gets it's ringworm. It's ringworm. Or a yeah. third eye. Either or. <laughs> I would say more because it's crusty. Uh <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say, and I'm not gonna be disrespectful, but I am gonna say yeah. I'm an an animal person who works. It does look weird. Well, well that's that's yeah, and I am so glad. Uh, that Michelle said the same thing because I was thinking exactly the same thing. It looks like ringworm, and yeah. I I'm making you know, it. She actually just looking at that picture. Ringworm is weird. but yeah, yeah, that's that's well, not to be disrespe disrespectful, but the cat. The main thing is the cat came along and and you know the cat right, stayed yeah. there until he passed, and the cats do that whole protection of evil. Yes, um, and he would have disappeared, and that's what cats do as well. Mm -hmm. But um, it's. It's it's nice. That's I think it's happened. a feral cat. It was a feral cat, yeah. but it's oh, so wow. sad. Yeah. If it's yeah. feral, well then yeah, yeah, definitely. Hello, external ex wolf pack paranormal. How are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. Um. So yeah, do you want me to put the picture up and show you? Hi. Okay, let me just get it up here. I've got two computer screens running here, and it's driving me insane. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna bring gonna it up. Figure out what this egg thing is because I'm going crazy. It won't get out of my head. It's like every other thought. It's the picture of those damn eggs. It's quite Here's weird to talk about. Oh yeah. Can you see it? And just the way that 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 see the left and the right that is, is gray. Mm -hmm. It looks like gray and crusty. That I mean, like Michelle said it even before I even said it, and I said, and I, I'm gonna say what I think it is. And Michelle came out and said it yeah. first. And I was like, so two minds thinking the same thing. And it's a cat and it's a feral cat. But it, I mean, cats are protectors of evil. Oh, yeah. yeah. Regardless, anyway. So that's that's good. Um, we were going to do, my dogs are going crazy. We were going to do something, like, we're going to do something like called like the Essence Method. We're going to talk about the Essence Method. And a few things that we do sometimes on investigations, say like for example, Louise, when we go on investigations, we use our mobile phones and we don't mm -hmm. use them for everything and anything. We use them for like Greg, I was telling you before, where we have our mobile phone in one room, we would have a recorder with the mobile phone, mm -hmm. but spaces away from each other or Michelle will come back in. Mm -hmm. And then we take the phone to another part of the building and then we will call our questions through that phone. With the recorder, if yeah. that makes sense. So that's what we do. So that's kind of like uh, communication. It's kind of it's the same. Um, it's it's just like being in the room, but not being in the room. But yet you're still using electronics. Mm -hmm. So with the SS method as well, that we love. Louise loves the SS method. Greg loves the SS method. Greg, can you tell us a little bit? Because we know you do your shows on a Wednesday or a Thursday night. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Because you do it. I think you do it with Reg as well about the SS method, and I love it. We we do basically on my show, which is when Spirit Connect, mm. and I have panels. I have groups of people. I have teams from all all around the United States, and what I do, what I was trying to do, is show that. They're all connected as far as spirit's concerned. Mm -hmm. So you could have spirit, you know, and it's magnified because of how large it is. So the mm -hmm. chances of connecting are much better because of the fact, much better. That's great. Yeah. 
anyway, it's better because of the fact that you do have that that distance effect. And hmm. um, we were trying to also go ahead and do it where instead of doing, we do we do a double. And we have two two people at one time, and they're under, and then there's usually another part of a team, and they record the responses, and then we have like a moderator sometime who works with a pendulum, or they work with uh, cards, at just for, for verification, and that comes into play, and it's really unusual to the fact that we banter a lot so when you have a, a two people doing an estus they end up actually talking back and forth now back these people the and you know these people are not in the same room yeah the, the one person is here and then say for instance one person's in texas mm. it's amazing isn't it well, I, 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 I enjoy it from the fact that, you know, the responses and I, I never review any of the shows myself mm -hmm. because I don't want to go ahead and put myself in a position where I would be, you know, somebody would say, well, you know, you reviewed it, you know, all the answers and everything. I don't oh. know any of the answers. It was in mm -hmm. like two minutes of the very beginning. I'm usually gone. And what happens I'm basically channeling and I've been doing that for quite some time. And that's the way my end goes. I don't know about other people that are in the group, you know, what your responses are, because I, I imagine that, that quite a few people that are here right now, well, that are in the group. Yeah. I, I think all you guys don't, so all you guys do us this. Yes, we do. You know, myself and Louise, my favorite one is the S's <laughs> what else they know? Louise, I know Louise is like you know the S's method, and uh, I actually when I was going Christmas shopping, which I didn't get, but I'm going to tell you now, Louise, I didn't get it. But I was looking. I'm looking for the. I'm I'm looking now. I'm going to tell you now, Louise. Anyway, but I didn't get you a blindfold. But I'm looking for a specific blindfold for Louise because she loves the S's S's method so much. She needs to have her special own blindfold. Now, now, now she that one. You know, something that says sweet dreams on it. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, now, if you noticed on some of the shows or some of the girls that have them and they're actually like silk and they're purple and they look like bras. Yeah. That's what I have. Yeah. <laughs> the bra one. Louise, I'm looking for one for you that has something. I'm, I want to get something specifically written on it for you. I don't know what it is just yet, but I am looking to get you one. Specifically for you and your SS method moments when we're doing them, because I know you love doing them, and I know you're the, always the one who does it. So um, I'm looking for I'm looking to get a blindfold for you, but it has to have I need to put the right writing on it. If that makes sense. Do you remember as well, Greg, when we were talking about it um, after your show, um, we were just talking about Estes and things like that, and that the unusual stuff that we do pick up, and that we were wondering. Remember, you were telling me a story that's behind it as well. Uh, you with, the with, the, with the ticking. Yeah. That started that started if probably maybe I can't remember how long before, but it happened at a location up north. And I started picking up the ticking above the white noise. And I didn't know what it was. And at first it sounded like Morris Code. And it would, you know, there was at actually a, a, a method to the separations and the tones on the ticking, on the ticking like it, like it, it sounded like somebody was doing, you know, just like Morris Code. Yeah. Yep. So I had mentioned it to my partner at the time, and he still does some work with me, but he gets sort of shook up when things he doesn't understand things <clears throat> and you know i just work through it and he's the kind of guy well he bailed that for our school because it started up again and we weren't even in the session five minutes and it just started going and it was like uh 
it gets me it gets me here when I start to talk about it because I have a feeling about it. And uh, my my point is that I don't know. So we had a uh, there was a panel, a roundtable panel, of a lot of really great ITC box builders and ITC people that were on a show. And I sent him a comment, and the comment dealt with the fact that when we were at the school, and this happened. I, I told him, I says, is this, is this spirits or this, is this aliens that are communicating? Wow. And they, they sort of looked at each other and they started to smile. And they said, isn't this what Frank was all about? Because the, the original spirit box, if you think back, and I'm, I'm older, so... I can remember when I was a kid and they had Popular Mechanics magazine. Mm -hmm. And you would open up the cover and right inside the cover was an advertisement about you want to speak to aliens. But they didn't use the word aliens back then. I think it was space, space people. Yeah. And it said, you can build this box. And that's what Frank Sumption did. So I said to them, I asked them that question, and they said, isn't this what Frank was all about? Because he had a code word with the aliens, and he was called the Purple Princess. Now, I don't know if I was talking to the aliens that I'd want to be called the Purple Princess. But, you know, <laughs> it's Jenny. just like, what the? I, you know, come on. You know, I would go ahead and tell them right away, hey, let's, hey, can we make a change on this? Just to be humorous, because you know you're getting you're getting into something really deep, just like you're getting in, into the uh, into the occult, or when you're talking about the voodoo. Mm -hmm. You know, this is yeah. something that's been going on so long, and we don't have a, even a, have a inkling of what it, it's mm. really all about. Mm. There's that Papa, whatever his name is, that's down in New Orleans now. Yes. Oh, I know who you're talking about, Greg. Mm -hmm. I and, know who you're talking about, and yeah. I, he was on a show, and I want to say it was Anthony's show. Um, I Probably Howard's show? Howard Petrie's show? I, I don't think Howard was on when, they, when he was on. I think Howard oh, really? had been, was on I a sabbatical. Uh, but it, I can't remember his last name, but this, looking, this gentleman sort of runs all the voodoo for all that area. Yeah. He is the man. And you really yeah, start to wonder crazy. about it, you know. Talking, but, talking about voodoo again, while you were doing your thing, I, 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 couldn't help, I couldn't help myself, but I had to Google the eggs. Yeah. And there is a voodoo ritual involving eggs. And it's to keep away the evil eye. Interesting. And it's the day it's, it's the day we sit them at the boat. I never read it. Oh, I just I just googled it really quickly. And it's the day I don't know how it works. Maybe Dakota does. Uh, you guys maybe day, but you have to set the eggs at the bottom of the bed, and it's wow. something to do with the evil eye. I well, you know when I'm you sorry. go ahead and you say the evil eye, there was hmm. a show like a week and a half ago where. We were we were we were doing an Estes, and we got mm -hmm. so far along, and then I felt I felt an abnormal amount of pressure here, where my third eye is. Yeah. But it I, was a pre it was a pressure that was coming in like this. Okay. Or it was sort of trying to compress it, oh, and wow. you know, I I said at the end during towards the end of the show, I said that. This is the weirdest thing I ever I ever experienced mm. as far so as that, something. Merry Christmas, Joanne. They didn't want Merry you to Christmas. see something. They want didn't want you to log into something. I get that sometimes when I'm getting a really good reading, like things mm. are just coming through, it'll feel almost like someone's like Squeezing. crunching my third eye. Like it's just trying to to close it somehow. 
And that's usually when I'm fixing to get into something I'm not supposed to be getting into. It's almost like they're trying to close my eye. And a lot of time I'll get, if I fight it, I'll get really tired afterwards. It's like I've been fighting something I didn't even know I was fighting. Did you get she, really tired? You know who Scotty Rourke is, Michelle? No. Uh, he's a psychic medium up in Madison, up north uh -huh. of here. And he's my mentor and has been my mentor for the last four years. So I was on that same path, psychic mediumship. And I consider myself to be a medium. I don't consider myself to be really a psychic. But I took, as soon as that show was on that night, and they went ahead and says, isn't that what Frank's all about? Immediately I went ahead and I says, Wow, I've got a way to talk to my guides. Okay. Literally through the box. Huh. And it was like I immediately I took a slight right mm. from the path the path that I was on. And that's what I've been doing ever since. I actually did the Estes before that, obviously, but I mean now there's an actual meaning to it. So am I the only one that hasn't done the blindfold thing? Because I haven't done it. I haven't done it either. Yeah, I haven't done it. I've closed my eyes before so that I can see better. But other than that, no. If I close my eyes, then I can see figures better than if my eyes are open. So at that that Austin one that I did, the really big investigation, I needed to I needed to see this entity. He at I knew he was evil. I knew he was a thick mist that kind of swirled. So I sat in the middle of the floor and I just closed my eyes and I just kind of put my hands up and I could feel him swirling around me, swirling, swirling, swirling. And then I just like stuck my hand out and he stopped. And then when I did that, I could actually start making out the body, the mm -hmm. legs, and I stopped about the knee because uh, the homeowner man had came down. And the minute he came down, the spirit just, or whatever he was, started swirling again. So, yeah. but I had to close my eyes to do that. But that's as close to a blindfold as I've ever got. I don't know if I'd want to do that, honestly. I'm, I'm, I won't Pamela, see. I'm just saying, Pamela, I can see Pamela because I'm looking at my phone as well. I can see Pamela. Hi, Pamela. I mean, go ahead, Chris, go ahead. I will say, I don't know if that is. I don't know if the coat is picking up on it, because I know it's brought to his EMF. I don't know what it is, but I can pick up really weird vibes. I don't know if it's Mike, because we've been talking about him. Dakota, do you feel anything? Because I, I don't know what it is. There's just a weird vibe in there. I don't know if it is Mike's kind of vibe, or is it something for your end? It's not Mike. No. Yeah, I think oh. so. So those who have never done an Estes method before, would you be really willing to try it tonight? Who? Greg? No. I, like, Greg who knows it so well, Louise and I who knows it so well, would you be interested in doing, and Greg and Louise, yourselves, your, the participants, would you be interested in doing, an, a, a, say, 15, 20 minute Estes method? That's fine. Louise, would you be interested in doing it? How do you feel? You can say no if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, yeah. Are you sure? I mean, I can yeah. do it. I have a connector now, so I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 you, okay, so. What, I what, don't know what's going to come to I, I, I just kind of, I just say that the reason why I was saying that to Greg and just asking, like, you know, with yeah. stuff coming through, I was just saying to him, sometimes you get stuff and it nearly sounds like robotic. It's yeah. Weird weird stuff and it doesn't sound like it's even human it's just something mm -hmm. weird and it's kind of like you're just listening and you're like yeah Who's I talking to you now? Like, you know, it, yeah so that's what i was asking greg after the show the last time i seen him and then he was just telling me about yeah. that there is a and book and a man that's yeah i was saying like that he was getting ticks coming through and yeah yes yeah. so. hopefully we'll do like with myself yourself louise and obviously and, and greg that we could go on to Greg's show in the new year when you do your SS Method show, Greg, and that we can go from country to country, you know, from America to well, Ireland. Well, that's 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 exactly what we were saying. 
that's, 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 I have that's, to get a pen beautiful. and paper. I'll be back. But, you know, now, Dakota, what do you think about all this? I'm up for anything. I, yep. As far as experimentation is concerned, do you think that they would actually communicate with us this way? Some okay. might. We would have to know them. Okay. I got to start you drawing. My brain's going to blow up. I even find, um, like, when we're on investigations as well, you'll get, like, sometimes robotic sending. Yeah. You know, I go, hello. Or what, I, I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah. Well, or we have, I, I always get real deep every once in a while. I'll get, I'll get a deep voice. And I have in my head, I have my room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I call the spirit to the room and I have my guides that actually move the people back and forth. I don't say it out loud. But oh, I yeah. actually, so if there's a person that's in the back that you can barely hear, yeah. I will ask. I will ask them to move them up if they're talking more than the ones in the front. Oh, because I've just been giving out to them all when there's loads of them. Right? Yeah. Okay. These will always say, "Stop! Back up! I can take one at a time. Stop! Yeah. Back up!" And so we let Louise do her thing because you know she's the one who's listening to the headphones. We're the ones Greg, asking Greg questions. Nicer. <laughs> so huh? much, Greg's way sounds nicer. Me just giving out to everyone. There's too many people talking. I'm like, I can't hear you. It's natural and it's normal to say that to say we know you're rushing in, but hold on. Let you know. Let me help. Let me try. Mm -hmm. But it's normal to say, okay, there's too many people rushing in. There's too many yeah. voices. Too many answers. Too many questions. And then, and especially when somebody who has not done it before, that and even people who has done it before, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot when they rush in and and. Do it, and this is what we want to do. If the panel agrees to it, if Greg and Louise agrees to it, then we can do a little bit of an Estes method here on the live. If that's okay, what do you, what do you, what do you, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, don't all rush at once. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> They're picking up mixed feelings. I do not. I'm going to say this and now. I can I can feel something, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, and I, I I'm kind of worried in a kind of sense. I don't. I, it's interesting, whatever it is, but I, I'm I'm going to kind of sit back and just watch his day yeah, because sit back. Would you I can know? feel. It. Have hey, you done I some questions? Hey, I got some questions real quick because I had some shit come through real fast. So, like, I'm going to just show y'all some of this. Hold on, let me see where I am. Okay, so it's like a. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, let, me, let me bring it's you like, up. I'll bring you up. Hold on, give me one second. Um, okay, give me one second. Sorry, love. Give me one second. I have not. Up. I have not done any meditation yet today either. Okay, and usually so, I'll do two or three. Wow. These are the. You got to be kidding. So, what? Are those are pines? Or are those eggs? These are. Eggs. These are eggs. Go and keep this it is held up. But this is a house somewhere around mountains or hills with some trees around it. There's like a pathway. And then this is some kind of book with candles and a lantern. And there's a bowl with some kind of liquid in it. And this is the water that's near this cabin that's going down like a stream. And then this is a very squinty uh, eye. Does this oh. mean anything to anybody? Because it's really strong. I can smell this in this. I don't I know what a, they I have a pond. And I have oh. a I have a big pond, and I have a meadow, and I have a giant deck on it, and that's where all my my grandparents and one of my friends all gather. Oh wow! And and it does have oh. behind it there are like hills, because I go from there I can go to. The top of the mountain where there's a door, where there's a big wooden door, and I can go in the back and I go down the stairs. And because the downstairs is where I found one of my last guide. And it's a meeting place. And I haven't figured out yet what it all means, 
and then I go continue down the page. Right out of there, and I drop right into the city or town that happens to have happens they have the people that can't speak. So I have to find the people that speak, and then I have to go ahead and, and talk to them. Now, we missed a little last part of that, but somewhere along when you leave the back of your place and you're mm -hmm. going somewhere on this adventure, is there an old like well house right there? No. No old well house, no old there, structure. There's a, there's a zoo and there's a forest. Wait a minute, a zoo? Are you talking about in um was it uh the old closed down zoo? It's 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 like closed down because it has where all the animals are for your spirit animals. Oh, okay. But and it's they not all, they, zoo in like Cisco or whatever. No, whatever. no, 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 no. Because that place is calling. I don't know. There's something about a book and it's almost like a ritual or something. This bowl, I don't know why I keep thinking that bowl has blood in Chris, it. Chris, what are you going to say, Chris? Sorry, Chris, what are you going to say? That ritual that Mike did, he had a bowl and he had candles set up. And it's weird you say about the house with the trees because I had a dream a couple of weeks ago. Remember, I told you to quote about this. And I actually tell his son Pete about this, and it was like a like the house out the Waltons, but to yeah. either side there was two big trees. There was two big trees at either side, and I dreamt about a whale. I dreamt about a whale, and this old tree. whale. I, oh. I dreamt about this whale, and it was really old stone. Remember, I tell you about this, Dakota, and it was mm. only it was really old stone, and there was water bubbling up, and there was somebody standing behind me. It was a man, but I don't know who it was. And Mike was standing there, and he was saying, oh, right, come here. And I wanted to look in the well. And in the well, it was, you ever seen the water that goes kind of red because of like mining and all that kind of stuff that makes it go kind rust. of like crisp, aye, rust. It was all bubbling up, and there was a wee stream going down it. And I looked over, and I could see his house with two trees, one tree either side. And then I woke up, and I told his son about that. But that video that he did with the ritual, he had a candle going, inside a bowl and he, he cut his hand and he held it over and he, he squeezed it all the blood into the bowl and then he put his hand over the, the flame. Mm hmm That's what he did. Wow. Okay. Did that, Michelle, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I feel okay. it. There's still there's still something to do with a lantern. I don't know. And someone watching like seeing an eye and then did uh did mike used to wear uh uh maybe like a welder's cap a welder's like it's a tight fitting piece of fabric that goes over his head and I, ties the back or maybe every time uh, every time i seen him he was like oh, he was in his bed because he wasn't obviously he was dying um his son i don't know if his son pete's in the chat the new he would be able to tell you it's something fitted to his head. I'm thinking like a welder's cap because you tie it on, it's fabric, it, it ties in the back. Well, he did a lot of work. He owned a farm. He owned a lot of farms. He owned the farming industry and, uh, and loads of other stuff. And he made stuff. And then there's something about a box. I'm seeing a box. Like, I don't know what kind of box. I feel like it has... See, he has got haunted Bones. objects. Like he has got boxes of haunted objects and boxes and stuff. This one would have bones, a piece of hair, and a ribbon in it. Dakota? What was that? that? Was Anthony at some point. Hmm. I would need to get Pete. I would need to get Pete. Yeah, okay. Can we get a hold of him? Okay. Can you pop in or... They all will come on. They all... I hear him coming up. No. No. Um, Mike have a daughter? Yes, I think he had a daughter and a son. But he was married twice, I think. Um, his, his, his wife came from... Where did she come from? Give me a second, I'll be right back. The 
Okay, what Greg. Is, okay. What island? It was for the islands. Yeah, I was about to say she's not from here. No, no, she's no, she's uh, an I island. Bahamas or something, or somewhere like that. I can't remember exactly where she's from. Um, There's a necklace, necklace, necklace. I'm seeing jewelry. Does she have his owner? Oh, gosh, I wonder if he has his necklace. The, he, he's got haunted objects. He's got like a, like you've seen the Warren's haunted objects, but he's got the same kind of idea. And his son looks after it. And he's actually got he's got a priest exorcist ring. He's got he's got a brink for a haunted mansion. He's got voodoo dolls that he got for God knows where. He's got he's got teeth for, for serial killers and stuff like that. Too. He has he's these high. things. Aye, he's got them all locked away in a in a, in a vault. Oh wow! Aye. that's that's gonna carry something with him. Pictures with me, he takes pictures and every now and again he sends me a picture. Wow. He says what's in the thing. That's crazy. So he has these human teeth. Yeah. I can tell you how he got them. He he was he got it well he did he did a live on it and he, he talked about it where he he went to see his friend was worked in the prison. And I can't oh. remember what the murder had done. I think he killed like 20 people or something like that. I, I don't know. So he waited for a couple of days after the guy was buried and he went back and he dug up the body and turned a pair of pliers with him and pulled okay. his back teeth yeah. and kept yeah. and, and kept <clears throat> the teeth. Wow. That's a yeah. lot. That's, 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 um, are they on a necklace? I don't know. He never really said. He's I never drew, said them. I was drawing this string with these pointy things on it, and then you started talking about teeth. He has <sighs> got loads of stuff. He's shared a lot of photos with me. I mean, he's got, even got SS knives. For the oh, SS. that's not good. My, I mean, a lot of people, you know, carry those back from when they were over there. I, it's just a souvenir that somebody gave. Yeah, them. helmets and stuff. Mm. I don't like to go when they go to swap meets and stuff. I don't like to go to that war memorabilia stuff. It's just too much on there. It's too much. But this hair, um, there's like something locked in this box with this hair and these teeth and stuff that I keep getting warnings that doesn't need to be opened. There's there's something about this, but this box needs to be found. I think he has got a box with stuff in it, but I don't know what's yeah. in it. I've heard, well, I've heard him do tell me tales about stuff that he's got. I, I, he does have a box with hair and teeth in it, I know that. But I'll have to ask his son, and his son will watch this back, he'll be able to tell us. Yeah, because that's, uh, I keep getting a warning not to open, don't open that box. It's got, of course, it's how would you know if that's the box, unless you open it, but... You'll feel it. Mm, I'm getting sick to my stomach thinking about it. He's got loads of stuff. He's got loads of... There was hundreds of stuff. You have no idea what he's got. And I mean ridiculous amount of things. What was his Mike. name, Mike? Mike. Um, Coleman. Coleman, I. Coleman. Yeah, Mike Coleman. Oh, Simon, yeah. There's... I feel something in the boots and I don't know what that is. It's weird. It's usually when I I don't think it's I don't think it's him, I don't think it is Mike, it's no Mike, I don't think it's something else that's nosing about. And I think Dakota Kens what it is, but I'll leave it there. I'm I'm putting a wall on about myself as I sit here right now, I'm building a, a wall a about myself. myself. Hey Jenny. Yes Jenny. I'm gonna I have like ten minutes. Okay. I'm sorry I have ten minutes, but no, you're good. If you want to, if you want to do it, you want to do it fast. Quick, yeah, let's do a quick fast. SS method because we're finishing off now soon. Let's do a okay. quick SS method. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to call out for anyone. I am going to call out first. Greg is going to call out. Louise, are you okay with with, uh, with the um, headphones? You're doing okay. Doing uh, that? Probably, my concentration doesn't go as best. So. That's okay, that's okay, girl. That's okay. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. Yep. 
I'm gonna and then we can go ahead and we can do it. And then I I apologize, but no, that's okay, Greg. No, okay. We're coming to the end of the show anyway. Okay. And then when we're ready, let's, when we're ready, thumbs up. Okay, <clears throat> Louise, you let us know when you're ready. To go. <clears throat> I'm just calling it as it goes. So I'm going to ask the questions out between Greg and Louise. Okay. So done. If anyone wants to jump in, like Michelle, Dakota, or Chris, if you want to jump in, jump in. If you feel like you have a question to ask, ask, ask away, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Louise, give me a thumbs up. Try it. Now hear me. Okay, we're good. Greg, give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go. Louise is good to go. So what's supposed to be happening? So we are going to call it questions and whatever Louise or Greg comes out with should respond to our questions. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're going to try it out. So Louise is good to go. Greg is almost ready, I think. Yeah, he gave a thumbs up. He's ready. Oh, he gave a thumbs up. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to talk to... Uh, you're going to... I want to talk Art. to you... Babe. You're going to talk to uh, through Greg, and you're going to talk to Louise. Greg is in America. Louise is in Ireland. My name is Jenny. Can you tell me your name? Peachy King. Can you tell me where you're from? Are you from Ireland or are you from America? Meditate. It's real. It's all real. Okay, so can you give me your name? What? My name is Jenny. We have Dakota. We have Chris. We have Michelle with us. Can you tell me your name? What country are you from? That's. A lot of them. Okay. Are you the person that Chris is sensing? You can go through Louise or you can go through Greg. We will understand. Are you the person that Chris is sensing? Dirt Road. Newspaper. Oh, wow. Okay. Are you in the paper for something? Did you do something bad? Headline. Oh. Can you tell us your name? Are you allowed to tell us your name? Want to know. I want to know, are you a male or a female? Do you understand? Tell me what I need to understand. I understand. Everyone. I think from Dirt Road newspaper, I had coming in, but I can't make what they're saying, but there's Scottish accent. Okay. Thank you. 
So do we have two people here or do we have one person? I'm taking from the one of Greg. Dirt Road newspaper headline, very dry. That you weren't you very... More dry? Say it again to Louise. Say it again to Louise. I can't believe it. What can you not believe? It's not a bouquet. <laughs> okay, are you in prison? Are you in prison? Can you feel them? Can you tell me what you did? It's two of them. Are you two male? Very curious. Two male? Where is that other voice coming from, Chris? Can you hear that? Can you hear that other voice now? I can hear a woman in an Irish accent. Aye, but it's not. It's not Everyone it's, knows but us. But it's not, it's not Louise because she's on. It's she can't hear. It. I can hear a female. And listen, chickens. Listen, TV is on. Chickens. Everyone knows but us and chickens. Can you hear that? I don't have any. You don't have any chickens. That's okay. Can you hear the female Irish voice, Chris? That's like a TV is on. Nobody has a TV on, no? No. Oof. Yeah. See, I think that's Pamela. Pamela can you hear what Um, I'm going to. I can know. feel it in my chest and my head. It's all misty. Can you tell me where you're from? It's not the temperature. Can you go and say something to Louise, who is in Ireland, and she can hear you? Bring them through, Happy. Okay, bring them, bring them through, Happy. Bring them through to Louise. Did you hear that voice, Chris? Yes. Yeah, me too. Me too. And Pamela heard it too. He's no. Please no. You don't have to if you don't want to. Young. Okay, I want to someone to come through to Louise. Say something to Louise. Do you remember? Never been this far before. So have you gone to Ireland? I thought I heard a woman saying talk about Mike. Like pancakes. Okay, lady, if you want to come through, you're more than welcome to come yeah. through to us. Woman again. Sometimes okay. it's a mirage. It's a mirage. That makes sense. It's not goats. <laughs> they watch each other. Water. They prefer water. Oh. Come back from the dead. come back from the who do you want to come back from the dead something about heal
Poppy says, not enough time. Valuable. Is there anybody that's speaking to Lulu Info. or Greg that you want to leave a message for any, any of us? Air Force. I just, I'm just a little bit um, curious about Dakota. Dakota, are you okay? He's going into a trance because he's picking up. I can see that. Together. Yeah. That's Greg's. Um, what? Disillusion. I'm just I just want to check on, on Dakota if he's okay. You'll be fine. It's, it's just been under. I'll turn you up. Okay, Lily. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, okay. This, my signal wasn't great, so I only got a handful of things. That's okay. That's okay. So Greg is still there. Dakota apparently is gone under. Oh, Michelle's gone. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get her back. Yep. Oh, I can hear Greg's. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, that's, that's Greg's phone. That's Greg's phone. So it was interesting. It was a little interesting. I'll be uh, right up. Uh, yep. I don't know if you can hear him. Yeah, we can hear you, Greg. We can hear you. Yep. And I say, usually say a, a opening prayer and a closing prayer. The closing prayer is from our angels, guides, and texts to all entities who have come through tonight. Please return to where you came. You're not allowed to stay. In love and light, we pray. Amen. I apologize for us not being able to do a complete session. No, Greg, don't be silly. It's fine. Totally. I, don't know, I don't know if it made any sense or not. I I've written tell everything you. I didn't get much, Greg. I well, I I, t I take around five minutes to usually get in concentration. Were you on AM or FM? FM. Well, I wasn't really getting much. There was a, like a woman trying to get through a few times, uh, a Scottish person, I think. But um, I've taken down I, some. I've ta I've taken down what you both have said. I've taken down. Um, a little bit from Louise and uh, a bit from Greg. Dirt Road newspaper headline, which was like, okay, do you understand? It's not a bouquet. Can't believe it. Very dry. So we had Dirt Road newspaper headline. Can't believe it. Very dry. Uh, and Greg, at one point you said, uh, want to know, or why you want to know. Do you understand? It's not a bouquet. <laughs> so, and I'm thinking, holy Jesus, you know, what a dirt road, headline, newspaper. So, that's what I got from Greg. Um. From... And I type I no, we did hear at one point, right? When Greg and Louise were under, we heard a female talking, which I looked mm -hmm. at you, Louise, thinking it was you. I thought it was you. And I looked at you to see if you're talking. And like, no. And I said to Chris, Can you hear someone talking? And Greg and, and Dakota was under. It's it sounded dead like Louise. Mm -hmm. It did sound it did it sounded like yeah. Louise. I, I did it's have a woman right. trying to speak to me, but well, I've time stamped it, so on on the live, so we, I can go back and the that time and to have a look at it. So I've time stamped we'll, we'll it. We'll have to we'll have to do it again. Yeah, I have to go. Sorry, Sorry. Yeah. You go ahead, my love, you go ahead. I love you guys. Hey, Thank you. Nice so meeting much. you, Dakota, Chris. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Louise, Greg, Jen, I'll give you one text tomorrow, my as love. As usual, love you guys. Love I you. Sorry, have I gotta go.
It's good. Have a good evening. I will check in with you tomorrow. Thank you for coming on. Okay. I appreciate it. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. You too, my darling. Oh, yeah. you too. Merry Christmas. Good night. I'll just I'll, I'll take it here. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. There you go. I just kicked him out. <laughs> just kicked him out. What um, huh? I was just going to ask the quote. What did you get the quote out of Kosei? Because you were away somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Greg wasn't talking to anything human. Greg wasn't. Because I like you heard what I had written down. Dirt Road newspaper headline. And I thought immediately something bad. Where they're where it's from, they tend to be very territorial. So are you think who Greg was talking to was not of this world? No, they're not from here, no. Okay. Their home world got blown up. Okay, because I know sometimes when 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 we go out an investigation and so on, and myself and Louise have talked about this many times, that we have to go to Wicklow Mountains and just camp there and light a fire and just stargaze and put the K2 out, the EMF out, and, and record us out, that, that we can get a little bit more, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd like to do in the summertime. Yes. No, in the wintertime, it'd be freezing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you reckon? <laughs> right. Well, it's minus two outside my house right now. I, I you know, see it's, that. It's, here now. it's probably a lot colder than Dakota is. It's probably the minus ten than Dakota is. Mm. They come from Walmart. So, how? Well, who do you think it would be Dakota? The Sasquatch that live around Mike's property. Really? <gasps> Air Force disillusioned. Hmm. It's quite interesting to see that. There's a there's an underground Air Force base not too far from where Mike lives. That's right. So that's right, Dakota. Well done. That's right. Could go up with that. And you also have to consider members of the Galactic Federation when they learn English, their accents sound like a mix of mm. UK and Iron. Especially if Pete's oh. get back to me. There's a couple that sound a lot like Lulu. Right. Pete's just oh. got back to me. Okay. Dad Dad had a number of requirements that consider parts of bone, including his own and then now. Now, I'm going to have to talk to Pete about this in a wee while. After I get off, I'm going to send him a voice message and tell him Aye. to come and watch this. I think Pete will be able to unlock the stuff and then he'll get back to me. Okay. I really do. He does not come up. He does not come up on the show, Pete. And I, I understand because Ken's dad passed away last year and stuff like that. But he does talk to me and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll get this. We'll see what we can do and I'll get him to watch it. I can feel something, but it was weird. It was weird, really weird, something that I've never really felt before. But that mm. was interesting, what she said about the, the well, because I had a dream about Mike a couple of weeks ago, and there was a well, and there was a stream, and the house was sat in, and it was like the house for the Waltons. I can't remember the house for the Waltons. And it one big tree on the left side, and the right side, that was another big tree. Hi. Yeah. So... I'll need to ask Pete. Pete will watch this back. So he's the best man for the job. He'll be able to tell us. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, that would be interesting. I know what 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 uh, Greg was saying was a little bit. Oh my God, like you know, dirt road newspaper headline. I was thinking like a bloody serial killer. We well, got we got to remember the, the road up to Mike's farm as a dirt road. Oh, shut up. Hi, it's a dirt road. Really? Yes, it's a dirt road. There's two yes. roads to his farm. One is farm shop, and then one to the main house. And they don't allow people to the main house. Just okay. That's for private use. And both of them are dirt roads. And we're all quiet. Mm -hmm. I, think, 
I think he's. I honestly think he's been a good. But I don't think that was. Oh, Louise that... saying, oh, sorry, Chris. I was just saying that I... Louise said meditate. It's real. Mm -hmm. um, and he said a few more things that I could not make out what you were saying. Because I have like Greg, Lou, Greg, Lou, Greg, Lou, Greg, Lou, and more Greg, 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 Greg. That yeah, all, I what I could make out what you were saying was like Louise said meditate. And then you said it's real. So it's and then, or something. It's, Huh? It's quite interesting, but Dakota said about the voice, because the voice was kind of like Irish, she's Scottish, she English, it was like a mixture they like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when it's in Scottish. Aye. Whoever was mm. talking to me. They do have yeah. that bit of that dialect to their voice when they talk English. Mm -hmm. oh. So because yeah, I haven't really got Scottish before, coming through. We've yeah. a lot of Northern people, Northern Ireland. Yeah. Not uh, but like not Scottish, yeah. No, never Scottish, really. I'm trying to get this fixed. So, what's next on the agenda? What's next on the agenda for 2024 20, of investigations? What is happening? Shows, investigations, any new plans coming up? We'll see what falls from the sky first. Mm. <laughs> We can go there. We can not let you go there with Jennifer and I. We're waiting for They're coming to get you. We're waiting for bloody years for this to happen. It's like uh, it's going to happen any time now. Soon, hold on, check your watches. It's going to happen. No, it's going to go. It's going to happen. So. All four of us have had some experience. Do you know, growing up, like even when I was younger. I remember waking up and feeling like I was being watched and I opened up the curtains and there's three lights and I went in and I got my sister, two sisters, my brother to look out. They're probably watching this now tonight. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got them, and I was asking them the other day, I was like, do you remember that? Because like no one would ever be watching. Yeah, Cora. Are you watching? Cora, are you here? If you're here, say hi, John. Yeah. So I was asking her to she was like, oh, yeah, it was like a party in the sky. And I was like, yes, it was. <laughs> but you see, the thing, like, right, when it comes to, like, you know, we're waiting for them to happen. We're waiting for yeah. them to come. They have shown yeah. signs. That we have seen them. People have communicated with them and so on and so on. Why are they not well, the answer back appearing? To Why are they not appearing? Why not? If they are more powerful than... The people on Earth. Why are they not coming? Kind of Listen, like you know. Jenny, I need to go because I've got to go with my dad and help bring my mum back to the hospital. Okay, so okay. I'll okay. catch you all there and everybody have a great Christmas. Go have a good Christmas. Talk to you later. Talk yeah. to you later. Right. Thank you for coming on. Oh. Very quickly before we leave, why have they shown? Why have they said so many things but not shown themselves, Dakota? They have. But they kind of have. Yeah. They have. have but they have. Have I missed it? Have I missed well, it? Pull on publicly, but they, they kind of have been showing themselves. Look carefully yeah. at the clear enough sky. You see the I stars know. start to dance like something is Dakota, making a problem. I remember when we were myself and Louise were in Ross Common and uh we had Nile and um Aidan with us. We looked up at the sky, I say about four in in, in four or five in the morning. And I've never seen the sky dance so much. It mm. was, remember Louise, it was mm. non-stop. This was in the country of Roscommon. And it never stopped. It just kept, it just something was moving all the time. Something kept going, something kept going. And I remember when I was younger, when something happened to me when I was younger. And I remember when I was afraid to look out of my window. Because I knew if I, they saw me looking at my window, that they would know I'm looking into the sky. And that they will know that I know, and I know that they know. And so maybe I'm going to take back what I said, that i waiting for things to happen. But they probably That's kind of what I meant, like, as in, you know, the way you're saying, like, oh, but we, like, they kind of have been showing themselves, well, you know? Yeah, so I take back what I said, and it did, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I, and I, I don't blame them, blame them at this stage that they would not come to Earth because we are a fucked up race. 
Oh, Earth is like, you know, who wants to come to Earth, basically? I, mean, I think we need I think we need them to come down and sort this world out, basically. But then it's going to be like that relative who always gets themselves in trouble because they expect everybody else to bail them out. That's true. That is true. I think we need I think we need bailing out at this point. I think we need a little bailing out if they could, you know, throw us a hand, you know, bail the feckin' world out. They're more than happy to show the way, but they know if they take the reins too soon, we're not gonna learn the lesson to prevent this mess from happening but again. Exactly. We have learned, we, we were learn, we were trying to learn a lesson 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Why another 10 years on top of that to learn a lesson? I just like, think we're complex. You know, if you look at humans throughout the years, we love fighting. Like, you know, do you want to take this on? If you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like, we're, we're trying to learn our lessons, but we still haven't. So can you just throw us a freaking bone and, you know, take over? Don't teach us anymore. Just take over. No. Just take over. Don't teach us because some people are unteachable. So just take over and, and we're, we're totally at a, a lost cause here. I think that. What do you think, Dakota? Besides, we once have taken over. Huh? Besides, we once have taken over. Have they, though? Have they? How do what's, we know? what's happening in 24? This is your comment. Mm. Yeah, that's a normal Starlink flying out. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Yeah, the number of people that still haven't figured out what Starlink actually is is astonishing I, these days. Funny when people, when funny say, I've seen these lines in the sky, like, oh my God, what is it? I'm like, oh. And I Elon even, Musk, you morons. <laughs> I know. I don't even jump in to say, it's this and that. I just like, yeah, someone else will do it for me because it gets, it gets boring. Um, so we are going to end the show now because it is time that we're going to end the show. I want to say thank you so much, Dakota, for joining us on the show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It was my this first time talking to Dakota, so hi. It, it is. <laughs> See, yeah. you and Dakota, between your, your, your experiences and so on, now Dakota has frozen. I'm still in my life on this show. There's Pam. Hi, Pam. Pam. Hi, Pam. Um, I know. So, Lulu, when are we back out? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so, I cannot wait to go back and investigate. It's been bloody a long time for us. That It's not normal that we take it this long, that we don't investigate. It's been, it's been a while since we've investigated. When I say yeah. a while, I mean like what, since October? So it's been, that's for, for us, that's, that's a long time. Yeah, um, October when we were down in the south of Ireland. Yeah. So that's that's the last time we investigated. But yeah, that's how long it was. Look here, I'm taking count, I'm taking count. That's the last time we investigated. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was. So the next time we are out, it's going to be at the end of January. Yeah. But I, well, we will be doing another one before that. We will, not investigation, but we will be going on a day tours to the, the we're going to do <laughs> the mountains yeah we're going to go to the mountains yeah, hopefully the weather will be good now and going up there we'll bring the spirit boxes up with us yes we'll do all of that then, thanks Doc thank you Doc. thank you uh, thank Lawrence you. thank you so much my darling thank you so much but for 2024 but Stephanie Louise will start off and we have a fantastic guest joining us from Washington State, uh, Michael Wong. He's a paranormal YouTuber. He's from, uh, well, obviously, Washington State. He's going to come over and investigate with Emerald Dial Paranormal Researchers in Redwood Castle and Left Castle at the end of January. And myself and we might see other places as well. We'll see how we get on. We're going to 
take them to different places as well. And then we're gonna we're going to uh, go to different places in Ireland as well to show you a little bit of leprechauns and folklore at the same time as well. Yeah. So on that. But we are gonna say goodnight because we are long day. Lilu, how was your shopping? It's done. <laughs> That's all that we said. It's is done. It, is it fully done? Did you get it fully done? Yeah. Did you? I was so jealous. I did not get mine done. Just yet. I, I know I'm looking at your tinsel and I have my t-shirt on. But I was like, no, I'm not wearing my t-shirt. So we are a little bit uh, fat again. I'm just looking at this. Okay, so we're going to say thank you so much for everyone who watched, liked, commented. And yeah. we are... Happy uh, Christmas. Happy Christmas. We will be back. We'll be huh? back. Back. <laughs> yeah, we have a few new we have a few little things in the works for the next year. We are thinking about, you know, like that maybe going down that route of when we were saying interdimensional stuff, looking into yeah. elementals, a bit more yeah. about fairies, Irish folklore, going to check out these places. You know, see what yeah. we get. Yeah. Like okay. Um, yeah, we're just kind of going into our interests. So we're gonna take it a little bit wider than what we normally do. Yeah, but it's, in, it's all paranormal. Yeah, so totally. Like we normally go um <laughs> huh? Not just specifically ghosts. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna give you a little bit more history of Ireland. You know, we're gonna give you a little bit more of our country and and um bring you to to the locations that we can we have learned from if that makes sense the fairy mm -hmm. mounds we've seen a few of them the caves that we're going to put louise and nile into and i'll just video and I'll just drop a camera in to watch them because <laughs> i'm not good into it i won't fit into them <laughs> yeah but it should be fun it should be fun <laughs> we just have to plan out now where we're going did you just say yeah I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> I just said I wouldn't no, finish. Spoilers, then I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably everywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I will, Joanne. I will. Thank you so much. I will, Joanne. Thank you very much. So, this is the last of the Shadow Whispers in the Night Paranormal uh, show. I forgot what I was saying there for a second. <laughs> Let me take over. I don't know what you were going to say. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm totally joking. I said, no. the last I, I, you, I enjoyed that chat. I love the way we were all talking about such different little things. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully we can have more. We will. We will be back in the Shadow was in the Night. We'll be back in February. We won't be doing a January show. We'll be doing February because we are, you know, getting ready to yep. go out on a, a weekend investigation and having a fantastic guest over from America in January. So we will not be doing any shows then. We will be doing lives from the location. So uh, just keep up with the page and we will keep you updated on where we're going and when we're going and what time and what date. Just keep your eye on the page and we can keep you up to date with that. Yeah. And um, Chris, I hope your mom's okay. I heard you were saying that there's mom wasn't well. Yeah. yeah, we need to check in with him as well. So... We are going to uh, let's be her now to bring us out of the show. Louise, stay there for a second. No, you stay there, yeah. Hi. Okay, so we're going to say good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Bye. Talk to you later. <laughs>